This video is going to discuss having keyboard interactivity in your games by using keyboard event listeners. This first one, all you need to do is uh, use some static text and uh, create a little description here. Uh, press an arrow key or the space bar. And then we're going to have a uh, dynamic text box that we're going to name uh, output. So we're going to give it a instant name of output. And um, we're going to use our device fonts and we're going to embed our font. Uh, I'm using just plain Arial um, as a demonstration. It works better on, uh, across the board with other computers. And what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and add our our action script. So you can press F9 or you could uh, have your windows uh, click on action scripts to open this up. <coughs> the first thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to use uh, uh, variables uh, for our keyboards and we're going to give them a name. I can give it any name I want but what I'm going to use here is I'm going to use uh, the arrow keys which are on my keyboard in the lower right hand corner. I'm going to use the up, down, right, left uh, keyboard keys and I could I could use any keyboard keys I want but um, in video games if you're gonna go in different directions it's it's simple to use the arrow key and then it's um, also quite simple to use a space bar I could use uh, keys like the A D W X keys um, but each key on your keyboard has a number given to it and you have to look up the different numbers um, that that you have so these numbers um, I'm giving to you so you don't have to look them up but if you want to use any other keypad letters or symbols then you'll have to look up the numbers uh, you can go online on different websites to check that out or just type it in Google and, and find them so I need to create variables and I need to give them the names um, that I'm gonna use so I named it left arrow right arrow up arrow uh, down arrow and spacebar uh, these variables are boolean which means uh, either they're being pressed or they're not being pressed. So it's either true or false that that they're activated. So um, we're given the variable and we're we're uh, calling it out as boolean false uh, for the for the variable because when you start your game, they shouldn't be pressed. Uh, they shouldn't be pressed until people want something to happen uh, in your in your game. And uh, we're going to need to add our event listeners, our keyboard events. And we're going to need when the key is uh, down, press down. And we're going to need when the key is, is up, when it's not being pressed. So um, we have, we name our own functions, right? So we have our key pressed down. And uh, this is kind of silly, key pressed up. But the key is up. Uh, it wouldn't be pressed up. It would just be released up. So uh, why don't I just change that anyway so it makes more sense. Like I said, always say you can name these functions anything you want. So release up. And then uh, we'll need to change our function down here to uh, released up. So our key pressed down is when the key is actually pressed. And um, the function that we named was key pressed down. And this is what's going to happen when it's pressed it's going to be true all right so our boolean is going to be activated so we have our key code our event key code and um, the left arrow is number 37 on your keypad so you're 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 telling the key code equals 37 so that knows the program knows that that's the uh, left left arrow um, key on your computer keyboard and when this is true this is our uh, it's being pressed down so uh, or we could have uh, key code 39, which is the right arrow, uh, is being pressed down, which is true. Um, or else we can have our event key code 38, which is the up arrow, which is true. And uh, we could have key code 40, which is our down arrow. And our space bar is key code 32. So these are the only keys that we're using right now on our keyboard. So we call that out. Those are all true when they're being pressed. When they're released, our boolean is going to always be false. So we have the same uh, script that we had for the function, our, our key press function for our key released function, except it equals false for all of these. And then uh, we add uh, what is our 
um, enter frame. So we want to run this code. Uh, the other ones we want to run when they're being pressed, when they're up or they're released. <coughs> and uh, for this one, when we enter the frame, we want our keyboard output to be uh, displayed. Uh, when something happens. So um, if the left arrow is true, right, then we have um, the text left being displayed. Uh, this variable speed, we can take this out here because uh, that's that's from uh, that was copy and pasted from uh, from the from the next from the next um, flash. A program that I wrote where we actually have something um, being moved around. So if our uh, left arrow is true, then we will have output text that says left for the left arrow. And uh, the text will be in our dynamic text box that we named output. All right? Or if the right arrow is true, then uh, the text will say right. If the up arrow is true, then the output text will say up. If the down arrow is true or being pressed, then it'll say down. If the space bar is true, then the output text will be space. So that's all. That's all the code that we needed for this. Uh, so let's control uh, test movie in Flash. And uh, so press an arrow key or the space bar. So I'm going to press the space bar, and it says space. That's what it told us is right. If I press the up key, which I'm going to do right now, it says up. If I press the down key, it says down. And if we have the left key, it says left. And we press the right key, it says right. So I pressed it on my keyboard, and we got it to work okay. So this is just a sample. Different things we can have when we push. Uh, we could have different outcomes for all the keys on our keyboard. When people push those keys, uh, we could have different sayings, or um, we can have the dynamic text box say all different things, uh, or we could have different 10x dynamic text box uh, to put things together. So that's just a simple code uh, for that. So now let's look at um, what I have is I have a, uh, a movie clip, and I named it Box. Right? So uh, if you don't remember how I do this, I draw out a shape, or I draw anything I want. Uh, I right-click, or I come up here and select. Oops. And then I, then I can, I can right-click. And convert to symbol, or I can have uh, modify convert to symbol, and then I pick movie clip. I give it a name. I pick uh, where I want the registration point to be, and then I have a, a new symbol sitting there. So I'm going to cut this out. <coughs> so I drew. It could be any drawing. Could be you know a race car. Could be a UFO. Could be a little guy walking around with an animation in it. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to draw a box and name it a box, and then. Uh, we will come up here and look at the action script. And <clears throat> what you see is we have uh, our variables being called out again. All right, our left arrow, uh, when it starts, is false. Our right arrow, we're not using the space bar in this, so I have no space bar uh, variable being named out. We use the same add event listener for the keyboard. Our key down, press down, our, our key up could be um, key released. Uh, up, but we can just keep it key pressed up because we can name it everything. And then we have our enter frame, uh, what we want to take place, our, our, our actions that we want to take place uh, with our event frame. And this is our uh, move box. So we want to move the box using our keyboards. So function, key pressed down, true, 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 true. We have the key numbers, 37, 39, 38, 40 for our uh, left, right, up, down arrows. And then we have our um, key pressed up, false, 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 for our left arrow, right arrow, 37, 38, 39, 40. And then we have our function, which is moving it around. So here's where I had this code left over. So we have a speed variable being named, and the speed is uh, going to be 5. Uh, and what we have is our uh, box x position if the left arrow is key is going to be minus equals the speed which is 5 <laughs> so we named a variable speed and we gave it a uh, number of uh, 5 and if I press the left arrow then 
it's going to deduct 5, which would be in this direction, from the box as long as it's pressed. And if I uh, press the right, then it's going to add 5 from the position for every uh, every time the frame. We, got, uh, we have a rate of 12 frames per second up here every time the um, box frame goes. So it'll 12, 12, it'll be at 5 for every... Uh, for 12 times per second and then we have a Y if the up arrow then it's minus for each so that's up is minus and for down it's plus 5 for each uh, time to enter the frame so it's down is plus so we have our coordinate system it starts at 0 0 and is positive going across and it's positive going down so if you keep adding you go down if you keep adding X you go across if you subtract x you go up and if you or sub subtract y you go up and if you subtract x then you go to the left so let's uh, control test movie and flash and I'm going to press the up key and you can see that it's going up press the down key you see it goes down press to the right goes to the right press left goes to the left you can press two keys at the same time so up and to the left down into the um, right uh, down into the left up into the right um, so we see we see this happening and I can control this using the arrow keys uh, to move move this little this little box around um, very simply so it could be any shape and we'll learn how to do that uh, add these key ev events to uh, other other games uh, starting now so if you watch the next video uh, or the next bunch of videos, so see us using these uh, key events over and over again.